Hi, this video will showcase data transformation by performing string operations on an employee data set. Let us begin. I'm in the file system. We have the input and output folders. In the input folder, I have an employees.xls file. Let us check the contents. It has the employee ID, title, emp name, salary, and state columns. We will standardize the title by replacing Mrs. with MS. Split the emp name into the first and last name. Trim the state and convert it to uppercase. Get the first two characters of the state and store all the information in a text file. I'm in Process Studio. I have created a project and workflow, Employee Data Transformation with String Operations. Let us start workflow creation. Drag and drop an Excel input step. Let us configure it. Select the correct driver. Browse for the input file. In the input folder, locate the employees.xlsx. Let us make the file path dynamic to the current workflow directory. So let us replace the workflow path with the internal entry current directory. Click add to add it to the list of selected files. In the sheets tab, get the sheet name. In the fields tab, get the fields from the Excel header row. For the employee ID, for the format, put a hash and similarly for salary because we want to display these as whole numbers. You can preview the rows so it shows the file contents. Click close. In the transform plugin, we have a replace in string step. Drag and drop it to the workflow. Now we will use it to standardize the title. So in the in stream field, select the title. And in the out stream, we do not want to create a new field. We will just override the title. And we want to search for the misses and replace it with miss. You can also fetch the replace value from a field. Click OK. Now from the transform plugin, drag and drop a split fields step. Select the field to split, that is emp name. Provide a delimiter to separate the input field on the delimiter character. In our case, we don't have a comma, we have a space, so I'll put a space. Ignore delimiters within pairs of enclosures. Leave blank to ignore. In the new field, enter names of new fields to create. We will enter first name and last name. Click OK. Let us configure it again. The type is string. Click OK. Next, drag and drop the string operations step. Let us configure it. In the in stream, select state. In the trim type, select both. Select uppercase and no padding. Leave the other default values. So in a nutshell, we want to trim the state and convert it to uppercase. Click OK. Next, drag and drop the strings cut step. Let us configure it. In the stream, in the in stream field, select state. We want to create a new field for the state abbreviation. Provide state abbreviation in the out stream field. We will start counting the characters from zero. Hence provide zero in the cut from. Designate where to end cutting the substring. This value is exclusive, so provide two. So it fetches the first and the second characters. Click OK. Finally, drag and drop the text file output step. Let us configure it. We want to store the output file relative to the current workflow directory in the output folder and let us call it employees and the extension is txt. You can select other options such as create parent folder if the folder does not exist. Check do not create the file at start to create the file only after the first row is available. You can provide other details in the file name. In the content tab you have the option to append contents to the file or to override the file. Now we will keep the separator as semicolon between the fields. Go to the fields tab. Click get fields. We want to keep all the fields. You can even leave it blank if you need all the fields. Or you can selectively remove fields if you don't want some of them. In the format for employee ID, provide a hash and also for the salary so that we get whole numbers. Click OK. The workflow is complete. We are now ready to execute the workflow. Let us run the workflow. The workflow execution is complete. Select the Microsoft Excel input and go to the preview tab. In the execution results, we can see the input data in the file. Go to the replace in string step. We can see that Mrs. is replaced with Miss. Go to the split field step 
and you can see that employee name is split into first name and last name. Go to the string operation step and you can see that the state is now in uppercase. Go to the string cut step and you can see the state abbreviation as the first two characters of the state and go to the text file output. We can see all the information. Let us check in the file system. In the output folder, it has generated the employees.txt file. Let us check the contents. The file has stored all the contents and the fields are separated by a semicolon. We saw employee data transformation with several string operations. Thank you for watching.